Well howdy do folks, once again welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi my name's Squid, and today we're going to be going over absolutely everything that you guys are going to need to know to A, spawn yourself a fallow deer great one, or multiple fallow deer great one, B, spawn yourself an absolute pile of diamonds, and C, grind efficiently, and most importantly, easily and simply. Before we do hop in today guys, I do want to ask of you one thing, if you please can go down there, smash that like button, and subscribe, that would be much appreciated, as it is the number one thing that can help support the channel. Also, there is that super thanks down there, if you guys do want to donate a few dollars to the channel, that is always very helpful, and all the money goes towards the videos. Also, I just want to say right now, to get out of the way and waste no more of you guys' time, the Discord server is linked down in the description, it's a great place to ask questions, sync up with other people from my community, get pinged every single time we go live, and get pinged every single single time we release a video so you guys definitely will never miss a video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about today's video, feel free to let me know down below or in my Discord server, whatever suits you guys best, and let's dive right in. Okay my friends, so wasting no more time, jumping right in, the very first thing that you guys are going to want to do, and the first thing that you're going to want to do in any type of grind, is obviously find all of your fallow deer drink zones. Now there is 35 drink zones here in Tiawaroa, and you definitely should not be doing the fallow grind anywhere else but Tiawaroa National park. The zones are very wide open and the fallow come in absolutely massive herds. This isn't a very good example of a massive herd, but it is an example of the zone being wide open. We are going to cover absolutely everything today guys, so make sure you do stay until the end of the video as I am going to be explaining how to deal with your solos easily instead of having to worry about stacking diamonds, which I am kind of doing, but I'm using a different method than all the other Call of the Wild creators that my friend actually taught me and I am very proud of, so I'm excited to share it with you guys today. Real quick, I am just going to take out this level 3 here, if I can. And I definitely can. I am using the 300 even though it doesn't give me integrity due to the fact that it kills them basically instantly. But on any trophies or rares I will be using the 308 which would give me integrity and full trophy score. So finding your drink zones for fallow deer is a fairly easy thing to do. In my opinion it's probably the easiest grind to find drink zones for. As you guys can see this little range of tents, tripods, hunting structures, whatever you want to call them in the bottom right here or in this area that I'm circling, is the only place that you're going to find fallow deer on Tiawaroa. The highest place that I would search for zones is either going to be this lake here at Picumurio and this muddy spot here on the river. You do not need all 35 drink zones to start grinding, but I do recommend having around 35. In order to test if you're able to grind or not, all I recommend doing is picking a zone that has some males in it. Now I do just want to mention real quick that if you guys are using herd management, which I am, and I'm sort of explaining this guide in a herd management way, I wouldn't really call it full on herd management, but definitely a form of herd management in a way to make your grind easier, faster, and more efficient, and definitely more entertaining with the amount of diamonds that you guys are going to spawn. <laughs> You guys should only be shooting level 3s and above and fallow that's minimum estimate are 150 or more. Any zones that look like this and are filled up with smaller deer, as you can see the biggest one in here's estimate is 141. You guys can pick up your tent and tripod and move on to another zone. Now you guys may be asking, Squid, why did you just pump a bullet into that level 3 that only had a minimum score of 141? And my answer for that is because I like this zone. If you guys have a zone that you like that's very wide open, easily accessible like this one, and the zone ends up filling up with smaller deer, which is completely normal if you're using this method of herd management or any method of herd management, you guys can just shoot one or two deer out of that zone and hopefully it will open up a spot for a bigger deer to spawn in and really the only thing that could negatively impact your grind while doing that is it could respawn as a solo somewhere else on the map which is also completely fine because you're going to be needing to look for your solo zones a lot in this grind. There is simply no way to get around looking for your solo zones, consistently harvesting your solo zones in this grind because of how many solos there actually are. In fact over half of my kills have been solos so far and I'm pushing 100 kills in. It's kind of insane, I know, but solos are 100% essential in this grind and they're actually kind of a good thing. Just a lot of people hate them. So do I. But they're a good thing. They're a good thing. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> As I was originally saying, in order to test if you guys are able to grind or not yet, or start your grind or however you want to put it, you guys just pick a zone that has a shooter male in it, go to that zone, shoot and harvest that male, main menu, come back in, and if there's a respawn there or if there's another deer there that wasn't there before, 
then you're getting respawns and you're able to start grinding. Now, if at any point during the grind you stop getting respawns, then you guys are gonna need to go and discover more drink zones. And it could also just be an issue with solos, which is very easy to manage. If anything, finding more drink zones is even easier. Lately, I've been getting a lot of comments asking me how I have my tents so close to my deer without them spooking, and I just want to make this clear for those of you guys that don't know. With the last update, you guys can place tents within 200 meters of deer or closer, and they will not spook. If you get incredibly close, like this tent in this zone here, which I would actually be fast traveling to this outpost, walking to this tripod, and then shooting from that tripod, but say for example, I wanted to shoot out of this tent, I would fast travel here and if it's extremely close, as soon as you spawn in within 60 meters, the animals will instantly go alert and you'll only have a few seconds to run out and uh, essentially shoot them up. <laughs> Which is kind of a disgusting way to put it, but it is definitely just the game and they will respawn as something bigger, hopefully. Fallow drink from 10 or 10.30 until 13 or 13.30. For me, I always set the time to 11 because that'll guarantee that the deer will be in their zones. Also, just to get it out of the way and provide you guys with the best amount of information possible, I do want to show you my loadout real quick. The reason that I carry two different 300s is because if I run out of shots, meaning that I've already wasted a whole entire mag and an insane amount of money, unfortunately, on one deer because squid can't aim sometimes, I'll switch to my other 300 and that will give me four more shots. Like I said earlier, I use the 300 on any normal deer that I just don't care about and I'm just shooting to specifically get the respawn, and I use the 308 on any trophies. So that way I can get integrity. Pre-warning, do not accidentally shoot your trophies with the 300. It is the worst feeling ever. I've done it twice. I almost shot my Great One Red Deer with the 300 thinking it was the 308. My first Great One Red Deer at least. My second one I shot with the 243 handgun, which was a blast. Now that all the setup information is out of the way and basically everything that you guys need to know prior to starting your grind is out of the way, I do want to start shooting some deer pretty frequently and I want to talk about solos and what deer you guys should be shooting etc etc everything that you guys are going to need to know to obviously grind efficiently if you're spending several hours setting up for a grind you might as well learn how to grind efficiently right spawn a bunch of these beauties right here i have two on my map right now we are going to shoot this five real quick i'm fairly sure it's a troll i'm not entirely sure but we are just going to shoot it with a 308 definitely to be safe okay we got him let me try to get that uh four i seen in here somewhere too there he is this is going to be kind of difficult i'm used to the 300 <laughs> Gotta try to get a vital there. Yes, we did. Awesome. Now, I would talk a little bit over him, but I do just want to grab him real quick just in case he is a diamond because my game has been crashing quite frequently lately, and I think that's pretty common since the update in the PlayStation community. I don't think he's going to make it. Yes, he's a 237.38, but he still is max level. Very cool. Definitely screenshot worthy. Now, as you guys just seen, and this is something that I pretty frequently do as I'm grinding, I will usually take two deer out of each zone if there are two shooters in each zone. I would not recommend taking any more than two deer out of each zone because it's just the best way to stay organized, and I think it is definitely very efficient. He needs to die. He definitely needs to go. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of nice deer in there. 141, 120. Let's get this four down first of all, and then... I want to get that 141 as well. Well, I'm probably actually just going to leave him because I think that is a zone full of solos, right? So if you guys didn't know, a zone with only males and no females in it is technically classified as a solo. Definitely okay if there's only one deer to shoot out of each zone. I actually have a lot of zones that are just strictly one deer, and that is completely fine. I have a lot of zones that are also two deer and some zones that have no deer. <laughs> And, uh, unfortunately, I've just discovered the fact that this is the perfect example of a zone with no deer in it. So, we are going to change that. I'm going to shoot the biggest deer out of here because this is one of my favorite zones. Unfortunately, it has filled up with small deer. I'm going to try to get two. That one looks like the next biggest one there. We're going to zero to 300. I don't want to hit that two there. Oh, we hit him. Okay, that should definitely take them down. If you guys are looking for a fallow deer gold mine, this lake, or these lakes here actually, are definitely the best spot on Tiaroa for a fallow, no doubt about it. Unfortunately, most of my zones up here are solos, and uh, I can't really do anything about that. That's just what my game decided. But like I said, definitely be shooting the 150s and above if you can help it. If your zones end up looking like this, and 
don't get me wrong, they definitely will. That should be the only time that you guys are going to be shooting smaller deer. And if you guys want, it may take a lot longer and you guys may spawn less diamonds. You guys can just shoot every mill that you see and you definitely will be able to spawn a great one. But to make it more efficient and to have more fun, especially just being able to see that 5 medium on your screen makes you feel absolutely amazing and definitely makes you feel accomplished. I would highly recommend using this method or any method of herd management in general. Okay, and last but definitely... Definitely not least, this is an extremely crucial part of the Fallow Great One grind. We are going to talk about solos. Now, solos are definitely a bittersweet animal zone, I guess we can say. They're good, especially when you get them looking like this, but they're also the most annoying part of the fallow grind, and they're the most time-consuming part of the fallow grind, and if they were just non-existent, the grind would be A, way too easy, and B, probably a lot more fun. <laughs> So, solos definitely play a part in keeping the grind challenging. Challenging enough, at least. It is not a challenging grind by any means. Like any other Great One grind, it is definitely time-consuming, but it is a whole lot of fun. So, what you guys should be doing with your solos is I recommend every two runs or every two time resets or rotations, whatever you want to call it, you guys should be looking everywhere you don't have zones. Now really the only spots that solos are going to be showing up for basically everyone are all along the river here. So you guys are definitely going to want to check the bottom river here. All along the bottom coast, any places where there's gaps, so from this zone all the way to this zone, I can guarantee you guys somewhere in here I have a solo in there that is not discovered yet. Definitely run all along down to here and all the way up into here. You guys are also going to want to run from here all the way up the coast of the river again, back up into this muddy area. This is a solo hotspot for basically everyone I know. I have solos popping up all the time down here on this end, sometimes down here, occasionally down here. And quite literally just check everywhere that you guys don't have zones, so any gaps or anything. You guys can definitely tell just by looking at your map, and finding solos is not that hard at all. It's just very time consuming because you guys are going to have to do a lot of running. And once you guys have actually found your solos, or what I prefer to do as soon as I find a solo, is shoot it. Now don't go stopping the video and then going and shooting every single solo you see because that's exactly how you destroy your fallow great one grind. If I were to make a video on how to ruin your fallow great one grind that would be how. You guys can see both of these deer here would not be classified as shooter deer because both of their minimum estimates are far below 150. This is what you want your solos to look like. Leave these solos alone, never ever shoot them because if you do shoot them then a shooter can potentially get in there and uh, that would not be good. Now say for example I was running along and this deer right here ended up being a solo without the other deer next to it, which these two deer are technically solos since there is no females in the zone. Say its score was 153 to 185. You're definitely going to want to shoot that and A, it will pop into one of your main shooter zones, which is what you're aiming towards happening, or B, it's going to respawn as another solo somewhere else on your map that you guys are going to have to go and look for and continue shooting until eventually it respawns as a deer like this. A non-shooter to be more specific, I shouldn't call it a deer like this because that's going to confuse people and apparently you guys don't like when I do that because a lot of you guys say I'm confusing. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. I'll tell you guys right now my life is confusing. <laughs> I am trying as hard as I possibly can with the videos and I really appreciate those of you that support and not hate. Other than that my friends, just keep on shooting, definitely keep looking for those solos every two runs or maybe even every other run depending on how efficiently you want to search for solos. Definitely the more shot down you get your solos the better the grind is going to be and the faster it's going to be. You can actually get your solos to a point where you don't have to look for solos anymore even though I would definitely still recommend looking for solos at least every five to ten runs just to make sure there's not a ten fabled pop up somewhere in a solo zone like you never know but other than that shoot away my friends shoot away have a great time with the fallow grind i really hope this video did help you guys out if it did make sure you do go down there smash that like button and subscribe i did try to cover absolutely everything in today's video like i said the discord server is linked down below and that's a great source for you guys to ask questions because not only me but my moderators my community managers and my administrators and just the people in the server would be more than willing to help you guys out if you guys do have any questions look at that shot Perfect shot. If you guys don't have Discord, you guys can just let me know down below, and I will try to reply to your comment as soon as possible. Thank you guys all so much for making it to this point in the video. If you did, comment down below, solos suck. That is the keyword for today's video. <laughs> Thank you guys, and I will see y'all in the next video. Excuse the background noise, it is the sup pump. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Peace out.